You know, nobody's perfect. Hey, well, y'all. We are kind of sideways sometimes. It does seem like it's farther away now. It, it's okay. Even though it's really it, it, not. It's okay. I shouldn't have said No, I mean, the crooked, I ain't worried about. I just am like, usually I can kind of make out the comments. Hey, y'all. I mean, never mind. Hi, everybody. <laughs> never mind our talking amongst ourselves. Oh, hope everybody's having a good day. Yeah. I hope everybody's enjoying spring weather. Well, it's stormy weather here. It is? Well, not today, but it's storm oh, season. I was like, storm season. I didn't see a cloud in the sky today, but okay. That's pretty today. It's nice. It was a little chilly for me this morning, but yeah. it's nice. Still. Happy Wednesday. Hi, Wendy. Pam. Hi, Pam. Hi, TikTok. If, you're, if you've never joined us before, my name is Kim, and this is Misty, and we're, for, we're from Mimi's Wig Boutique in Dallas, Texas, and we're going to show you wigs. So yeah, we're showing some new wigs that this is all we've ever seen. We haven't actually put them on or turned them inside out or done anything special because yeah. we want to unbox them with you. Um, well, and, you know, Missy doesn't allow that sort of thing to go on when she's I, here. They make me sound like I don't allow anything. <laughs> they do what they want, okay? Everybody thinks I'm so mean. Yeah, but we wait till you're not here. <laughs> I mean, if I'm we're going to do an unboxing, I just think it's fair it if is. we're surprised just like everyone else. just get so excited sometimes. I am excited about this collection. Because I think... Uh, Holly's the, like, Kim, you didn't peek? Nope, I did not. She didn't. In fact, when we got the box in, it was the only thing in the box. So, um... I don't know who did it, maybe Marsha or Lexi, opened one side up and saw that it was new and just didn't even untape the other side. So we put it under the counter. So had someone peeked, they would have been busted. That's right. So I got got my eye on y'all. That's all right. You have to. Yeah. I'm sure there's things y'all do when I'm not here. Though. Oh, of course, you know. And you're like, oh, she can't talk Boss back is if gone. she's not here. We'll do what we want. That's, right. That's what I say. I do what I want. <laughs> <laughs> not really, but I, you know, it's it's good to talk big. Oh, goodness. So, um, Hi, Sue. How do you have on? on? I I bet it wouldn't take a half a second for someone to guess what I had on. <laughs> and I, that's what I didn't do. Did Carrie do it? Because I didn't do that. There's always something I forget, and that's what I forgot. Just to put a slide of what we're wearing. Um, I have on the Alva by Noriko in Chocolate Frost R, which is probably my favorite wig of all time. And I have Christy in Palm Springs Blonde by John Renault and... This is one of my, I don't know what to wear today, but it's my comfort it's exactly zone. exactly why I have this on. Yeah, it's just, it's a good go-to. Yeah. And it's easy, and it always kind of hangs good. You know, people will say, I mean, you must have, a, you know, a million wigs. Well, we both have a lot of wigs, but, you know, it's just like that favorite pair of shoes or favorite pair of jeans, you know, when you just want to feel like you... Right. You or just have one that you go to, and this is mine, and that's hers. It's the, what are you going to wear when you don't know what to wear? Mm -hmm. You're going to go for the comfort stuff. Yeah. What else are we wearing? Oh, we're wearing shirts, and I th I think Carrie just marked what I have on. It comes in this color and a periwinkle. Uh, she marked this down. I don't Is it? You can get that for less than 30 bucks. Wow. That's and a really good price. This back. is like I just laundered mine for the first time oh, last I night. It comes out. So I was so scared to do I told that. you it washed up nice. It does. So and I would not even, like, wear it until I, in fact, I left it in the package until I was ready to wear it because I was so afraid that it wasn't going to look the same again. Well, that's why I went ahead and washed mine because mm -hmm. I knew you were afraid and it just, it comes out so good. It does. And this little eyelet detail right here, y'all, it is, this just makes it look so boutique-y yeah. and fancy. Well, and, what I love about it, this is the perfect spring mm -hmm. thing because if it is a little chilly out there, it's lighter weight than a sweatshirt, but it's heavier than just a regular blouse. Yeah, and like Kim said, it did come in periwinkle. We only have one. I don't even know what size, but one of the periwinkle left. But we have plenty of these, and this is just amazing. And I'm wearing another shirt from Mimi's, and I love this one. I do, too. You know, I just... The colors get me you know i'm all into neutrals right now so it has this nice neutral base but yet it has that pop of color so both of these you can get on our app you just go to the app store if you haven't downloaded it it's uh, mimi's dallas and um there'll be a coupon code active i'll go and tell it to you mimi's 30. ah 
so, on the app. Um, yeah, but um, Marsha will be in later on to tell you all the good stuff. You know, nobody, she gets the good job. Yeah. Everybody likes to see Marsh coming well, in. Well, can I just point one? Oh, one yeah. of the things I'm loving about the styles now is they're doing so many details, especially on the sleeves. So this has just a little bit of ruffle. It's not overdone. It's just a hint. And it has that gathering. And it's got the gathering there and then you, a little ruffle here. You can't really see that in the camera, what she's talking about. But it kind of reminds me of like a like an officer's jacket, you know, when they have that little bit of a detail mm -hmm. there. I mean, it's just a little something extra so you don't just have on a plain shirt, you know. So anyway, check those out. It's almost <gasps> Maxine's birthday. I just saw it. Oh, really? Happy, Happy birthday. Happy early birthday, Maxine. Yes. Oh, I want to say one more bit of information before we start in. This is a little, if you have placed an order for one of the Tony Beverly Chris in a rooted color, um, I just responded to someone's email this morning. The rooted colors in that have not come in yet. Um, I thought it was just three rooted colors. Well, the last I talked to Lori, I'm pretty well, I thought she said the rooted colors. So maybe not, but if you placed an order for a rooted color and you haven't gotten it, that's because they're not in yet. And she's really working hard to figure out when that's going to get through customs and all that. So um, we'll relay that information to you as soon as possible. I just didn't want anybody to wonder. Yeah. I think we forgot. No, we don't. We, we won't. We, we forget lots of things, you know. So <laughs> it would be, you know, probably correct and you saying we forgot. But anyway. <laughs> I, th I just wanted to say that because someone emailed this morning. And yeah, I, well, I just we got to keep people up to date, and that's why <laughs> that it, th this is this drives us crazy because I, like when I buy stuff online, I'm tracking it. I want my stuff. I want to yes. know when it's coming and when I'm all that good stuff. So I don't think y'all are any different, you know. So yeah, and if you ever have a question about your order, I mean, I will say. Um, a lot of you may not understand how we do business here. So if if we have something in stock, we ship within 24 hours, unless it's, you know, comes in on a Saturday or Sunday. Um, but if you don't get a tracking number in that first little bit, then that probably means we didn't have your color in stock. So what we do is we order, you know, sometimes twice a week or, you know, on the first of the week, the following week. So it might take a week for it to ship out. So if you still haven't heard anything and you want to check on it, then by all means, pick up the phone, give us a call or send us an email. Yeah. We are, we are always, totally open and transparent about what's going on with your order. And we're always available. Always. Most of the time. Sometimes. Unless but we're always. not here. <laughs> Unless we're not here, but then we're still available. Yes. Um, All right. So we got Gabor. These are going to be uh, like the last Gabor collection. So they're going to all be heat defiant. And they're going to come in the GF colors, which um, mirror the Raquel Welch uh, heat defiant I'm sorry. True to life. Heat. Friendly. Friendly. <laughs> it's like we're, I can't get it's like we're politicians. Well, everybody's, <laughs> everybody's patented their stuff, and I can't ever get the right line for the right manufacturer. I know. But, for anyway. the longest time, because John Renault was kind of on the, the forefront of that whole heat, heat, heat style <laughs> and they call theirs HD. So I just called everything HD fiber. That's HD fiber. Yeah. And then I realized, okay, that's a patented term. I probably don't need to be saying that. And then... It's well, it's like they've patented smart lace too. Mm -hmm. And once you kind of get it in your brain, you're like, oh, well, it's smart lace. Well, it's not. Anyway, mm -hmm. we're just we're just doing the best we can, y'all, <laughs> with what we got. <laughs> anyway, so you're going to be able to get these in colors like uh, from like Raquel Welch, like cappuccino and shaded biscuit and ice latte macchiato. So mm -hmm. that's exciting. So you'll be able to get it in colors that are really familiar for you, especially if you've avoided Gabor because in the past they never really did a dark root uh, until they got the GF fiber. And so now you can get the darker roots. They still make the styles, um, their traditional styles in the soft root, but uh, what is it? Soft shade. Soft shade. Sorry. See, I can't even get that right. <laughs> well, it's confusing because they both have an SS. So it could mean soft shade or it can mean shadow shade. So, you know, unless you, I, I think they probably should have changed that up a little bit, but, you know, they didn't ask me. Yeah. Um, but anything that you can differentiate because the original Gabor colors will have a G or a GL, and then anything that has an F, you're going to know that it's that dark root, um, heat, heat friendly. <laughs> True to life. True to life. Well, I don't know. Is that is that true to life on Gabor? I don't know. 
It says heat friendly fiber. Okay. No, it says true to life down there. Okay. So they've got their patented true to life. Yeah. I can't keep up with it all. All right. All right. So let's start. Let's start this out. Okay. I'm going to put a technical photo up. If you're watching on Instagram or on TikTok, you won't be able to see this. So if you want to see what uh, everyone else is saying, you can hop over there right now to YouTube. Um, but this is just some specs and what it's supposed to look like. All right. You know, so these are the stock photos of the so uplifting. Um, well, I don't know. We'll see. The uplifts of I think. <laughs> I just think it sounds like a bra. Well, it does sound <laughs> like a bra. And there's nothing wrong with that, but. I mean, it's just going to uplift your spirits. Well, you know, it's not yeah. going to uplift what I thought it was going to uplift, but. It'll yeah, uplift well. your spirits, yeah. It'll work from the neck up. All right, so um, like Kim mentioned, these are true-to-life heat-friendly synthetic fiber, temple-to-temple -temple lace front, monofilament part on this one, velvet-lined ear tabs, velvet-lined extended nape. Extended nape, that's interesting. Um, and so there are the specs here. And if you can't see what we're talking about, you can always see these on our website, shopmimisdallas.com. They are already loaded on there, ready to go. All right. Tawana says, I wear this top on Wednesdays a lot. I just didn't realize that. Yeah, I didn't either. Who knows? It's like we, When we say it's our favorite top, you know, one of our favorite tops, yeah. and there you go. All right, so I'm going to be putting on. <laughs> Wouldn't be a Wednesday. I'm going to be putting on the um, iced coffee latte. <laughs> Messy one snow. Does the, the does it come in an underwire? Okay, when they say extended nape, I guess that really just looks like all their other napes. Well Yeah. Because it doesn't I was look, thinking it was gonna have a little something I thought, extra like like on the men or, or on the men's yeah. line for um Harry Wear. But anyway. So did you already say lace front mono part? I did. Okay. Has a nice curve to the lace too. It's not straight across, you know, if you have like that hairline look, which most of them may do that, but this one just caught my eye. Oh, your shoes are cute. Oh, thank you. Sorry, I just looked down and saw her shoes. All right. Oh, I've got issues. Yeah, me too. You want a, one of these? Well, it's just, I had my liner too far down. Okay, you never want to brush a heat-friendly fiber. You always want to use a wide tooth comb or a pick. Um, and that doesn't matter what manufacturer. Mm -hmm. That's across all of them. Even though you may see some stylists up there on their live videos doing it with a brush, don't follow what they do. Listen to us. I've even seen wig designers that design well, that's what I'm talking it. about. Yeah, do it. It's like. Yeah. Okay, so, so uplifting. I don't know. Let's look at the back. So it does have a little bit of a shag down the neck, some flippiness, kind of like a sparkle, more along the length, I guess, more of like trendsetter. What do you think? Yeah. Mine well, has trendsetter issues. <laughs> it's kind of rare to see that a cold set issue in a heat friendly wig. Cause usually, yeah, it's, it's. Let's go back to the technical picture. Let's see if we look like her. I guess the sides look the same. Her back looks smoother. Um, they've put, they've given her height here, so they've definitely styled it. They may have done that with um, a blow dryer. I'm not sure, but they definitely uh, gave her some height and volume here. So it's nice to know that you could do that if you wanted. This you could wear down. You could go back behind your ear. I think I know why they called it so uplifting because it's it's full. It's full without doing anything. Yeah. It's it's uplifting your head. <laughs> so if you like a lot of hair, I think this, this would be good. I mean, I'm not wild about it. But it's, if you, I mean, that's my opinion. You know, um, one of Marsha's customers, uh, Sonia, she's always wanting something messy in the back, messy in the back. Like, she probably would just You know, another this. one of Marsha's customers, Pam, might like this. Because she usually wears Sky, and oh. she cuts, Marsha cuts it up a little bit for her. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, 
Erica says it. <laughs> she's like, she has potential, but she's struggling. That scene's on a roll today. What I think she's on a roll. It appears to be a decap on Miss <laughs> Teen. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yes, it does. But, you know, she's getting better. She's getting yeah. better. The longer she's out of the box, you just got to play with these. I mean, if I wanted a, a, a lot of hair, I would choose this, which it's not like a helmet, a lot of hair. No, it's not. And the lace is beautiful. Oh, the lace is always so good. Yeah. All right, let's switch. Okay. I like the fact that they're doing it in the sugar licorice. With, oh, yeah. Because this is color's really pretty. Ooh, Misty Kay's had her fingers in this wig. Oh, see, I think this one's hanging a little prettier. Right here in the front. It just seems so full on... Well, you got more fullness. It seemed like the right side had a lot more fullness than the left. And again, we're really honest. You know, when we say we don't take these out, we don't do anything. A lot of review, you know, videos that you see sometimes, they've done something to them. They've put some product in there. They've styled them to make them look cute. Nobody wants to look bad on camera. Yeah. I mean, but that's that's the price you know, we're willing to pay. Um, just so you get a true and honest review. I mean, yeah. we say it all the time. We pay for all of our stuff. No one sends us anything for free. Um, so we're honest. If we don't like it, we don't like it. And it's not that I don't like this one. It's getting better. I mean, yeah, it really it is. is. Every second, it gets better. <laughs> See, I got mine all smoothed down. <laughs> yes. Kim does this. I do this. <laughs> But yeah. it's cute, especially it cute. It's when better. people think that sparkle's too short. Mm -hmm. This will be great. Yeah, or if they want a lace front and Sparkle Elite doesn't have just quite enough hair right here and they want a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Sparkle I mean, Elite sometimes is really flat here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. She, uh, she's, we like. We allow her to get off the struggle bus now. All right, so the next one we're going to do is the Alluring Locks. This is the longest one in the collection. Um, these are coming in pretty... A pretty good color range. What I'm noticing just while well, it's out of the box is this doesn't seem to have too much hair. Well, it's 5.2 ounces. I mean, that's a healthy wig weight. But it didn't, there's stuff, even the last Raquel launch, that long one that they had, I can't remember the name oh, of it. Oh, day to date. It, it hangs very well because it's not that much hair. Okay, so oh, again, this is Temple Temple Lace hand tied top. Okay, that's different. It's not just a regular monofilament top. It's a hand tied top. Um, and we'll show you the difference in that. If well, they don't have one in here, but I'll show you in a second. Um, nay, but this is 11 inches, so it's a little it's a little length, but it's pretty. Yeah, so it's really the cool. hand tied top, what they call hand tied top, is kind of has like a double layer. It and has it's like a super meshy soft. lace and then the hand type section under there that's, I mean, you can see my, well, you really can't because my nails are red this time, but you can see how thin it is, maybe. I have lighter weight. <laughs> so, yeah. So I'd want a little lift here on this. Size-wise, these feel pretty comfortable. They're not terribly big. They're not small. I thought that the um, sugared licorice was a little difficult to put on, but then once I got it on, it felt good. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. It's real pretty. It's just pretty glam hair. It is pretty. It's I took this out of the box a minute ago, and Carrie's like, that looks like my haircut, and it, it does. Yeah. You know, she wears hers not quite this curly, but this is pretty. And one of the things that you'll notice in the GF colors as opposed to the RL colors is they're a little bit more blended. So you don't see as much of the highlight, low light. It's there, but it's just more blended. This has some good length layers. Yeah. That are not too long. I'm going to have to get me one of these. So short. Yeah, this is pretty. Okay, Nicola like is asking a question. Which brand do you feel the most comfortable wigs? Okay, that is, that's like people picking out jeans. 
where it is so individual. So what might be comfortable for me might not be comfortable for somebody else. Uh, so I don't know. The only thing, I, the but Noriko's cap doesn't have as much stretch, but we have people swear that they're the most comfortable cap out there. So yeah. Curls away from the face. Thank goodness it only took them five years to figure that out. But everything's coming out now. It's got that away from the face instead of one side back and one side down. This is really nice. Really pretty. Fiber feels good. Fiber feels really nice. Okay, I like this name. It's Alluring Locks. It's mm -hmm. very apropos. Oh, and I just find the cap really stretchy and comfortable. Oh, yeah. So, if you had um, Own the Room, mm -hmm. this is a smidge longer, but you could go back and forth between Own the Room and this. Oh, Janie wants to know which lace is the softest. You know what's really weird about that is it's not manufacture. It's style dependent. So, like, Ellen Villa has a certain lace that she makes that is so soft. But it doesn't come in every wig. Um, I know Envy just came out with something called So Soft Lace that we're still trying to get information on. Uh, but it, it, it just depends on the style. This lace, for me, I think is very soft. Uh, yeah, I, Tony and Beverly is really soft, too. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's... I will say some Gabor, though... It's great. Or not, it, like she said, it's so style dependent. And I don't understand that, but just talking to all the manufacturers, they have different factories, and different factories manufacture different wigs. And so sometimes the difference has to do with one factory or the other. Mm -hmm. Other times, you know, there's a lot of science that goes into designing the wigs, and other times it one material may work better depending on the style or the cap construction than another. Mm-hmm. Just yanked my earring out. Jan's asking if Shadowshade Cappuccino is warm or cool. It's uh, it used it's cool, but um, I will say the heat friendly version of Cappuccino is warmer than the regular fiber. Yeah. So when I look at this, I see cool color, but I also see a little bit of warmth of an undertone. Just a hint. I mean, just a hint. Yeah. I wouldn't say. Oh my gosh, that's so warm. You know, I don't see any red in it, if that's what you're asking. I am paranoid about any gold or red in my hair. And so I see gold even when the other people tell me I'm crazy that there's no gold in it. But I will wear ca cappuccino. It's one of my favorite colors. I'll wear it in regular fiber or uh, heat defiant. Friendly. Hi, I just want to say hi, TikTok. I was looking at a huge join. Hi, Debbie. Thanks for joining. Hi, Deborah. I feel like sometimes we just forget about TikTok over there. Carrie sits out there and monitors TikTok. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. And um, if we don't see them, then someone will answer. Um, otherwise, you can always contact us yeah. on, on our website. Yes. All right. All right. Last Let one. I say this one because I think it's going to be my favorite. You know, because I'm the one that makes a slide, so I can just do whatever order I want. This is true. <laughs> Oh, you so y'all already know if you've looked at pictures online, you already know which one I think is going to be like most like me. And Kimber, if you're watching, um, shout out to Kimber. She's not feeling well, so we're thinking oh, she's of you. Not? No. Nobody tells me anything. Well, we just found it out yesterday. So look at this. I was here yesterday. Okay, then maybe it was Monday. <laughs> Monday was your day off. Monday. You weren't here. Okay. So it had to be Monday. Okay, this is called Beaming Beauty. Here's Tech. the technical. Oh, okay. <laughs> but just beaming beauty. Cromer. Cromer or yeah. Toner. Toner. Inside joke. But anyway, beaming beauty, again, tipple temple lace, monofilament part. So it doesn't have the double mono like the last one. Velvet line ear tabs, blah, 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 all the same. Um, nape of this one is four and a quarter. I always just think it's helpful to measure the nape. Yeah. Because if you have a really short neck, a four and a quarter nape might be too long on you. And if you have a you know, um, a longer neck, four and a quarter might be super short. So if you know your your measurements, then you'll kind of know, okay, that'll work good on me. So, anyway. Okay, I got a problem. What? This color. That color is definitely more warm than I expected it to be. Um, uh, it kind of looks orange. It's... <laughs> we, <laughs> we sugarcoat stuff. <laughs> I would 
wouldn't say it looked orange, but it definitely has some copper low lights. That's that's a very political way of putting yeah, it. Yeah, see is much nicer than I am. Yeah. Oh. Well, it's shaded. Um, it's shaded golden wheat, and that is a beautiful color. And for whatever reason, in this style, the color's so off, um, which I'll be talking to them about. Yeah, the, it's... To me, it looks like it would be more along the lines of a 1422. Yeah, that, that's what I thought it was. Did you already say that, too? No, I didn't, but uh, that's what I thought it was when I first um, opened it. Because, yeah, it definitely is a, a gold um, undertone and a gold wig, Okay. It's, if you like gold tones, it's beautiful. You just, I mean, everybody's different. Some people love gold, some people don't like gold. I am kind of warming up to the gold tones lately. Yeah, you are. I mean, I think they're really pretty, and, you know, it, just following the trends, cool has had its day. So I really feel like it's never going to go out of style. Don't get me wrong. Those cool blondes, those icy colors are always going to be so popular. But, you know, warm's going to make it come back. Well, what I love about the times that we're living in right now you know, there's lots of issues with stuff that goes on in the world. But as far as when you're dressing, whether it's hair, makeup, or clothes, there's really no rules anymore. You wear what looks best on you. And if mm -hmm. um, your skin tone lends itself to wear wearing something more warm, then wear it. Yeah. I mean, and sometimes it's just it with the clothing you're wearing. With the color that Kim has on today, that color is not always going to be the best with but, you know, if you were to have on, you know, different tone of clothing, then it just looks different. That's yeah. why, you know, I just love having wigs to match my clothing. <laughs> I do, too. And oh. I can't describe how that works. But. Annie on TikTok says, with a bit darker complexion, golden wheat would look great. And she's right. I mean, a lot of olive tone skins, uh, not even really necessarily true olive, but, you know, something with a warm undertone skin and, and a nice brown or, you know, what is that color? I am trying to say. It's got that goldeny browny color. Oh. Not hazel, but you know that real that R eleven S plus? No, I'm talking about eye color. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, you get hey. it. You know, with like someone, amber. Like amber. Yeah, like an amber eye. Yeah. yeah. We, you know, I knew what I was talking about. Yeah, we we got this. <laughs> anyway, this style is cute. It's really cute. And someone made the comment it's like a unfiltered that's more full. Um curl pattern's different, but I like it. I like it. Um, it's, we did show the back. Let's show the back. Does it have a stack at all to it? A little bit. I mean, not a whole lot, but enough to give it some really good interest and fullness. And I've mentioned it a million times on here. I have a very short forehead, so sometimes these, I feel like this is almost an over-directed part, and sometimes they'll just completely close me in and I can't see. This, I mean, without it sticking to my lip gloss, um, this is hanging out of my face pretty well. Yeah. So if you have a short forehead, I think, you, you know, you can still do this. No, that's a good point. Okay. And did we say this is lace front and monofilament uh -huh. part? Okay. I really do listen sometimes. <laughs> we listen to things we're not supposed to listen to. Yeah, this is true. And then don't hear what we should. Okay, even Alexi said they need to be done with the the beauties because they have a beaming beauty now. Um, what's the other? Bouncing blushing beauty, beauty and blushing beauty. Okay, look at that. Well, that didn't do that on me. Oh, because it is. Because I'm like now they <laughs> didn't they didn't mess that curl pattern up again. <laughs> it just was flopped over. But you know, on me, I don't think this looks as gold as it did on you. It doesn't. Um, Radiant Beauty, yeah, they. I mean, what do y'all think? Do y'all think that it's, this just, we actually did an experiment once where Kim, Marcia, and I all had on actually the same exact shirt, and it was solid black, and then we all had on Kim's personal wigs okay. that she used to wear in the same color, same Here, cut. Okay, let's be truthful. Okay. Here's how that went down. It was an experiment. It was Halloween, and we were trying to figure out what we were going to do for Halloween. And somebody came up with the idea, because I just washed a whole bunch of my wigs. Or I probably didn't do it. Someone else probably did. And they said, we'll just dress up like Kim. 
Yeah, that's how it happened. <laughs> but to, now it's a scientific experiment. Yeah, you, but you don't have to tell everything you know, Kimberly. But what came out of that is the the identical wig that was the same style, color, and cut look completely different on all of us. I mean, and, you know, at that point, Marsha was pretty tan. It looked like a different color on Marsha than it did the rest of us. It totally did. I mean, different cut, different color, different length. So um, that's why I'm saying it just, if you are a person that can wear gold tones, then don't shy away from this just because of what we said. Yeah. So Marsha's going to go, someone's asking if we can compare the Shadow Shade Cappuccino with the Shadow Shade Ice Cappuccino. And Marsha's going to go grab us an Ice Cappuccino. Um, so we can do that in the meantime. Density on this, is they're asking, it's it's pretty full, but it, I like it. I like the fact that it's full in the right places. It just so it moves really nicely. I like how it's full here and yet has these little stringy pieces. Yeah. Because that's the way natural hair is. Unless you've just got a really fresh, blunt cut, you know, from something long, natural hair kind of is thinner on the ends, you know. So I like it. I like it a lot. My natural hair is thinner on the ends. Yeah, mine too. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Okay, someone's asking to compare these two colors. So I'll let you put that one on. And I'll put this one on. Okay, so Kim is going to have on well, the... Well, I have on cappuccino. Oh, you do? Okay, well, let me put this one on then. I think. No, this is iced cappuccino. Oh, so that's what I had her go get. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put on the cappuccino. You're wanting a comparison between the 1022 and the 1222. I have on 1222, and Kim has on 1022. So... Turn that way. This, um, I think that, do you think the ice is a little bit warmer? I think the ice is a little bit warmer and just a smidge darker. Um, highlight color is going to be the same. The 22 is the same. So the base color, the first color is always the, the color you have the most of. So the base color, 10 is one shade darker than 12. 12 is cooler. So there's your comparison. And the differences are subtle. You know, mm -hmm. I, we have a lot of people that go back and forth uh, between the two colors. Yep. So that's it. All right. Good collection. It is a good collection. And I think the fiber feels great. Um, um, just while we're on the subject of collections, Raquel added a couple of new things. I'm in the process of getting them on our website. The winter premium is already on there. You can purchase it today. And that is, if you wear a regular winter, you know it is a winter. But they've added a lace front. And so, a mono crown. And a mono crown, yeah, which is like a little oval up here. But that's already on the website, ready to go. And then they're also adding some petite sizes and ultra petite sizes and some other styles. And those will be up there probably by the end of the day. So, yeah. so winter's coming in ultra petite. Simmer and... Um, Simmer Elite. Simmer Elite. And Classic Cool. And Classic Cool are both coming uh, in, in petite. petite. Yeah. So not regular Simmer, just Simmer Elite. Yeah. And I'll put my oldie back on that needs a, a wash. She needs a little TLC, but she still looks good. Yeah, she does. All right. Well, I'm going to get out of here and let Marsha come in and have all the good fun. <laughs> and I'll see y'all later. Bye. Hello, Marsha. Hey, hey. What's it been? Like a month I've been in here. I know. You've been crazy. Hiding ditching out. us. I know. Not being here on Wednesday, y'all. All right, so what Ooh, are we going to talk about? We are having a sale. What kind of sale? Guess what time it is. It's time for the sale Ooh. of the week. Oh, my. Yeah. So, are y'all ready? It's Buy one, get one, 75% off with the code BOGO75. So that's going to, so if you bought two wigs, the lesser price one is going to be 75% off. Yes, and. And, but wait, there's it more. It also includes. Sale wigs. Sale wigs and. And Mimi's exclusives. Yeah. So. Uh, Hi, Rosalie. Hopefully we don't sell out because. Yeah. And I know we've got more exclusives on the way. 
Then we also have a sale in the app, 30% off of everything. Carrie's been marking stuff down. So, um, you know, when we get to the point where we've got um, one and two left, then, you know, we'll mark it down. Yep. So be, be sure to check out the sale section. Yeah, yeah. Get to shopping. All right, BOGO75, we will see you next week, same time, same place. Thank you. We are so grateful that you guys uh, watch us. We appreciate you. Yep. Have a great week. Yeah, bye.